today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different format for this video. I plan on doing nail art that is uh, inspired by summer gardens or uh, springtime gardens, partially because it's spring, but also partially this weekend is Mother's Day. Um, additionally, I um, want to try a little bit of a different format where I just paint and you can watch me paint, but I'll also be talking at the same time. So I'll kind of be freeform doing the painting and talking because I feel like I'm, I'm explaining a lot of times exactly what you see me already doing on the camera. And maybe that's a little boring. And since obviously this is not live and you guys can't ask me questions. Anyway, so uh, what I wanted to do was, uh, would you rather, let's see, the first would you rather, would you rather always be 10 minutes late or always be 20 minutes early. I would want to be always 20 minutes early. I feel really bad when I'm running late on things. Uh, I don't want to be a burden to people. And if I'm running late, I feel like I'm screwing up the other person's schedule. Um, and I just don't want to do that to, to anybody. Uh, would you rather, would you rather your shirts always be two sizes too big or one size too small? I would rather they always be two sizes too big. I would always rather them be two sizes too big. Might not be the most flattering looking, but at least it's comfortable. Um, and as I get older in life, um, I tend to appreciate being comfortable more so than fashionable anyway. But uh, I don't like when it, have you ever worn a shirt that's too small? Like for me, a shirt that's too small starts pinching on your arms and that that's really the big one for me is like it'll start pinching and chafing on my arms and starts writing up on you too. So like your belly starts getting exposed or um, if it's low cut, you're going to be constantly pulling it up to cover up your, your chest and stuff. It just sounds like a battle I wouldn't want to have to deal with all day. I'd rather be wearing an oversized or a shirt that's too big and be comfy and not have to worry about it. And frankly, anybody who'd prefer the shirt that's too small, I would I would be questioning, <laughs> like, what is what is your logic here? What is your what is, what are you thinking with that? I mean, I try to. to be open-minded to other people's preferences and ideas, but I, who would want to wear a shirt that's too small and why? Next one, would you rather live in the wilderness far from civilization or live on the streets of a city as a homeless person? I would rather live far from civilization. I, I, when I read this question, I think of my experience uh, when I was in Yellowstone National Park and that's way out there and like cell phone signal was spotty and you really kind of had to rely you either had to buy things before you you went there before you got to the actual Yellowstone Park or you had to rely on whatever is at the convenience stores in in the park already and um so whatever selection they had and whatever price in the head, that's what you had to deal with. So that that's kind of tough. Um, but I would imagine living in the city and uh, being homeless, you, you don't have a source of protection from the weather. You don't have a constant source of food. Um Again, this one seems like, to me, it seems like an obvious answer, but maybe it's not. Maybe that's why it's a would you rather question. Uh, would you rather be alone for the rest of your life or always be surrounded by annoying people? That's a tough one. When I first read this, my knee-jerk reaction was... I'd rather be alone for the rest of my life. But then you think about like 
movie, the movie with Tom Hanks and, and Wilson, the soccer ball. <laughs> I think it's a soccer ball, right? And um, he almost seems like he's almost like literally going insane. <laughs> um, and then even if you even if you feel like you don't need any socialization, what about when you need something done by another person? That's something that you, you just can't do for yourself. Like, again, referencing that movie when you had the tooth issue. Like, you wouldn't be able to go to a dentist because that means you wouldn't be alone. Uh, but if your tooth is rotting and needs to come out, I feel like that would really stink to have to do that yourself. But then being with annoying people. I wonder, I guess I would wonder what the definition of annoying people would be because I mean on one hand I consider myself pretty easygoing on the other hand if you give me almost any person I could if I spent enough time with them I could probably find something about them that's annoying but I can I deal with it because the things I like about the person outweigh the things I don't like about the person I don't know if that's how everybody is <laughs> like everybody has things that they like and don't like about everybody I guess I've never really asked anybody that before. So do I live alone or do I live uh, live surrounded by annoying people? I guess I'm typically a more introverted person, but I wouldn't want to have to do everything by myself. I would want to be able to access the skills of other people. And I think I would be willing to uh, deal with the annoying factors in order to be able to get those skills, access to those skills. Um, I think this depends on how the people are annoying though. Like if these are people who like never let you sleep or like literally torturing you, uh, that might be different, but annoying, they're, they're annoying versus like, they're not violent people. They're not crazy people. They're just annoying. I feel like that's like, there's a level to that. Anything beyond that, then they're like violent or abusive or whatever. So uh, I guess I'd have to go with the, the annoying people. Okay. So annoying people would be the winner for that one. Would you rather never use social media sites or apps again or never watch another movie or TV show? I don't really watch t actual TV so much anymore. Um, I get a lot of my news from sources online um, and, um, or I'll use like, um, like the weather app, my local weather app to get my weather. Um, so TV, I would not miss. But I do like movies. I don't watch them a lot. Maybe once a month I watch a movie, but I do I do enjoy movies. Uh, but then the thing with social media is, uh, I think YouTube is considered social media, and I really really like YouTube. Um, I watch a lot um, on YouTube, and. Not only do I watch a lot, but now I'm posting my own content on YouTube. So I guess I'd have to stick with social media. I use that more than I see movies, I guess. It would kind of stink to not see movies anymore, but uh, I guess that's the point of would you rathers, right? They're not, they're not easy answers. No, that wasn't the last one. Okay, the last one that I wrote down, the last one I wrote down, would you rather be the first person to explore a planet or be the inventor of a drug that cures a deadly disease? So I would start out answering this question by saying, I really do uh, find space very um, fascinating. Um, I, I do enjoy watching, um, like YouTube channels, or if I am watching TV, if there's an episode of like 
I don't know if this is still even on anymore, but PBS um, used to have like Nova, uh, which would do different kind of scientific educational episodes. Uh, so if I saw, I don't get cable, so that would be the way I would get like an educational episode of something, I guess, besides uh, like Netflix or something. Uh, anyway, um, so uh, I, I love watching that stuff. I love learning about it. Um, but uh, when it comes to choosing uh, between that and coming up with a medication that would help people with their quality of life and, uh, yeah, help with their quality of life to be able to live hopefully a, uh, normal lifespan, at least with regards to that particular disease, whatever it was. Um, I think I would have to pick that. Um, so my regular job is in healthcare and, uh, I, I do feel very fulfilled, um, helping people and knowing that I'm making a difference in their life. Anyway, that is the, uh, that's the nail look. I've got a like cabbage, uh, another kind of leafy green, like a lettuce or arugula. I've got, uh, tomatoes, carrots, and that's supposed to be corn. Uh, so I'm going to top coat these and I will, um, also do my other hand, take some pictures and insert those at the end, um, so you can see that. If you uh, like this style of video, uh, please do give it a thumbs up. Maybe leave a comment. Maybe answer one of these would you rathers. Um, if you didn't like it, say so as well. Uh, I'm just experimenting here with different formats just for funsies. I hope you have a great week and a great Mother's Day. And thanks for watching. Bye.